Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the 3DO. Well, this is going to be short and sweet, just like the, uh, the life of the 3DO. So, I have one. It's not the greatest system in the world. It actually looks like it belongs, like it should be bolted to the bottom of a Nintendo 64. But all in all, I'm not unhappy that I have it. I actually got it on a great deal back when I used to work at a used game store. Some guy actually came in and wanted to get rid of it, had the system and a bunch of games and stuff, and he... You know, the, the guy who owned the used game store was not interested in it at all. I didn't think there was any money value in it whatsoever. So I turned around and I asked my boss if I could buy it from this guy with using my own money. And he said, uh, my boss told me that I could do it as long as I didn't do it at work. So I met this guy at a gas station nearby where I worked and Handed him $35, and I ended up with a 3DO, two controllers, a box full of games. Like a, we're talking like a big movie, moving box were you know, full of games. And these are actually some of my favorites that came in that $35 lot. Uh, so first up, we have, I guess you could call this a shmup, but this is more of like a, a first-person full motion video. Of course, almost all of these things are for full motion video. It's uh, Burning Soldier by Genki, released in 1994. You know, and, and when I say first person shooter style smup, shmup, I mean, you'll, you'll see on the screen exactly what I mean. It's it's a little bit clunky. You're just mainly moving a cursor around and you know, shooting when you hit a button and the, you know, you have to move the cursor just right and the, the, the enemies attack in a specific pattern and, you know, so is it the best thing in the world? No. But it is one of my favorite 3DO games. The next that, that we have up is The Daedalus Encounter, 1995 by Virgin Interactive. It is... This is a, a computer game that got converted over to the 3DO. And, you know, it's got Tia Carrera in it, and uh, she does a, a fairly decent job acting, and it works really well. It's more of a puzzle-style game with a few quick-time events kind of kind of like sparsed in there where, you know, you're trying to do things and save them, and... Uh, the, the story of like how you have such a limited way of responding is really great. And they, they spend a lot of time explaining on, you know, and, and, and story crafting around how you are the way you are. The character that you're playing is the way that you are. And it works really well. It is a fun game. I wouldn't buy it on a 3DO. Heck, I wouldn't even suggest anyone buying a 3DO right now. Unless you can just find one for dirt cheap. But I wouldn't... I, I would try to look for this game on something like Steam or something if you really wanted to play the Daedalus Encounter. The final game that we have is Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon S. And yes, I know this is actually a Japanese 3DO game. It was released in 1994, or maybe 95, uh, by Angel. This is a animated 2D fighting game. Uh, it's a little bit on the clunky side. You get to play any of the Sailor Stars, or, well, not Sailor Stars, but any, any, like a, a majority of the cast from Sailor Moon. You know, I, I have a six year old little girl that. You know, every once in a while gets to, to stay with me, and she loves Sailor Moon, and she loves playing this, and the other Sailor Moon game that, that I have, which is the uh, arcade game. But, 
you know, all in all, this is not a bad game. It's just, it happens to be on a system that doesn't have very good frame rate. But other than that, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Should try, probably try to find a way to find this one, or, or at least play it in some fashion. There might be a better version out there, guys. If there is, please let me know. Because I would definitely like to play this game with a better frame rate. But other than that, guys, these are my favorite 3DO games. If you guys have any 3DO games that that uh, you, know, you love, just please let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.